7 for Craig Brathwaite. Craig Brathwaite registers his 8th hundred. He's the first West Indian bats batsman to score hundreds in back-to-back -back tests since 2009. Lovely shot. Just lent on it. The timing was very good. He gets a boundary. Craig Brathwaite. Chisser playing down the ground. Just a gentle mare. Portion has gone to the boundary. Wakened spaces up in the front. Lovely touch from Brathwaite. And that's away. Got some bat on it. Bangladesh seamers, they're trying to pitch the ball up, but just straying in direction. Oppish. Rare aggression from Bratwit as he gets another boundary and brings up the 50 for the Windies. Lucky enough to pick up a wicket yet. Single will bring up uh, his 50. That's uh, a short and wide, and it's going to be put away. Just there. Doesn't have any protection to the credit of Bratwit. He finds the gap, but he's really not putting any sort of concern on Craig Brathwaite and his stroke play. Gets the boundary. It's a little bit more flight. And Brathwaite says, I'm going to expose that spot you're talking about, Darren Ganga. More runs for Brathwaite. Four runs for Brathwaite. And that's beautifully driven. Just got his hips, his body weight going in the direction of the ball. Then tried to hit it too hard. There was no big flourish of the bat. But that's Craig Brathwaite's style. He's got an immense amount of concentration powers. A little bit of in swing, and Bratwit equal to the task. Brings up the 200. And it was a better shot than you think, Darren, because he, he was falling over. Benefit from the fact that it was right up to him. And timed it beautifully. And that's going to go for four. Yeah, not the right length. That has been the problem for Bangladesh throughout, uh, right from the word go when they started to bowl. Again on the short side uh, from Kamrul Islam, allowing the batsmen to free their arms, too short, too wide, and uh, pays a heavy price. That's gone to the boundary. Good looking shot. Gets into a good position and puts it away. That's the eighth boundary in the last ten overs. And uh, that's going to be his 100. Number seven for Craig Brathwaite. It's been very solid throughout. And provided just what the West Indies needed. A good foundation for what should be a big score. This goes in the air, but not close to any fielders. Uh, more runs. Nice dab from Brathwaite. And of course, that new ball, that does run away rather quickly. So a boundary to finish an expensive over. Went for 10. It is 237 for two here. He hits that well enough, Brathwaite. But that's one of the reasons they've got the man at a straightish mid-wicket and a mid-on very deep for that lofted shot. It's a good use of defeat. The 
it's an area where he prefers to hit the spinners. Got hold of that one nicely. And that's Brathwaite's answer. Try to apply some pressure to the bowling unit. And that is getting obvious turn and bounce. Guided away off the outside edge. Didn't really try to hit it through that uh, square cover region. Just dropped his hands on this delivery. Yeah, it's just too wide and too full. Gets it through. And that's his strong area through the offside. Anything short, he will cut you away. Shakib just erring in length. Giving Craig Bathwaite the room he needs. Cross batted, use of the feet, nice little shimmy by Brathwaite, and he's into the 60s. That's what he does to the bowlers. He's uh, so patient, and all of a sudden he'll go and uh, go in an at attacking mode, picking the right length and the right delivery. It's beautiful uh, use of the feet, and uh, dead straight down the ground for the boundary. Too full and now too short. And even into that breeze, Shakib is not going to win that race. He comes second. There's another boundary. Oh, yeah. This releases that pressure valve. So annoying for the captain and the fielding side when those get thrown up. This was too short and. Brathwaite gets deep into his crease, likes to hang back, and just helps that on its way. Well, he's got hold of that one. area he likes and uh, there it is Craig Brathwaite registers his eighth hundred and he's the first West Indian bats batsman to score hundreds in back-to-back -back tests since 2009 when Chris Gale made hundreds in both innings against Australia